the FA-37 Talon Prototype Fighter. Hello again, and welcome to Sky Legacy TV. We've made many videos about various secret aircraft that governments throughout the world don't want you to know about. You should check them out here. Today we are going to talk about a plane that you may have seen on the big screen film, Stealth, back in 2005. But many believe that the FA-37 Talon is more real than just a big budget movie prop. With an interesting switchblade wing design and stealth characteristics, perhaps the military is working on something quite similar. Today we are going to take a deep dive on the FA-37 Talon and how much is fact and how much is fiction. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. What is it? The F-A-37 Talon is a near-future, single-seat fighter aircraft of the U.S. Navy, similar in design to the EDI UCAV. Although these pictures come from the fictional movie called Stealth, they were taken aboard a real U.S. aircraft carrier, the USS Abraham Lincoln, which was used for filming while the vessel was at San Diego's Naval Air Station, North Island, in June 2004. These pictures have led some to speculate that there may be a deeper truth behind the designs than a purely fictional movie prop. What are the specs? The F-A-37 Talon is said to cruise at Mach 3 and reach a top speed of Mach 4 Plus. It is considered a super cruise stealth fighter, bomber, interceptor with a flying range of 4,000 nautical miles. Some information suggests that the Talon has a 10,000 hour life airframe and engines that require replacement only at failure or signs of trouble. The Talon is capable of hypersonic flight with two combined pulse detonation scramjet engines. As the film's title suggests, the Talon has stealth capability along with movable forward sweep switchblade wings, an internal cannon for close-in fights, and an internal rotary launcher with, with a wide variety of ordnance, including GAU-12 equalizer, AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles, AG-88HARM anti-radiation missiles, AGM-130C air-to-surface missiles, called the Blue Ferret in the film, FAEs or fuel air explosives of an unknown variety, and truncheon implosion bombs. Why do people think it could be a real plane? FA-37's unique switch wing design closely resembles patent number 5984231 for aircraft with variable forward sweep wing. Issued to Northrop Grumman Corporation in 1999, this patent caused a wave of rumors about an actual aircraft build with that design, with the fictional name Switchblade. It was publicized in the November 2000 issue of Popular Science magazine. Moreover, according to aerospace journalist Steve Douglas, Northrop Grumman was one of the technical advisors for the stealth film. Yet another plane sharing design characteristics with the Talon is the VF-19 Excalibur. Conclusions If the FA-37 Talon is actually a clever prototype that was shown on the big screen, it is certainly an impressive piece of engineering. But swing-wing planes are difficult to build. They require greater structural strength, weigh more, and burn more fuel than compared with fixed-wing aircraft. As far back as 1945, Robert T. Joan of NASA's Ames Research Center, who proposed the first U.S. swept-wing aircraft, saw a simple solution a single, rigid wing that would swing on a single pivot point. The oblique wing, as he called it, could vastly simplify the structural problem. If the Northrop Grumman designers have overcome this problem, perhaps we are seeing a whole new era of aviation right in front of us. We hope you enjoyed this breakdown of the FA-37 Talon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. Until next time, this has been Sky Legacy TV.